And Trump, after Hurricane Matthew, the state asked for $900 million, but the federal government only sending $6 million. That means 99% of the money asked for was denied. NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey live in Uptown. And Rad, the governor got a little fiery over this one today, right? Well, he was clearly more than just upset. He used the word shocked, and he even went so far as to invite President Trump to come here to North Carolina and see for himself the problems that Matthew's victims still face. I was shocked and disappointed that North Carolina did not receive the money that it needs. After Hurricane Matthew devastated a large swath of eastern North Carolina last year, Governor Roy Cooper asked the federal government for $900 million in relief aid, a figure Cooper calls conservative. But today, Cooper said only 1% or $6 million had actually been approved. The governor said the state needs all of the requests to pay for repairs to infrastructure, replace affordable housing that was destroyed, and to help farmers who suffered the loss of crops and animals. I've invited the president and congressional leaders to come to North Carolina to see firsthand the problems that people are facing. Cooper called it an incredible failure by the president and congressional leaders who Cooper said had turned their backs on victims who are still suffering. We're hoping that they will see the light eventually, but it was disappointing to get this news this time. Asked if he had any idea why the money for North Carolina was turned down, the governor said he had no idea. Reporting live in Uptown, Rad Berkey, NBC Charlotte. All right, Rad, thanks for that report. New at five, a deadly virus takes over a local animal shelter, forcing it 